between Al Jermaine Sterling and Jose Aldo. So here's the number one Bantamweight contender making his way to the Octagon. Got to be some nerves here as he gets set to compete for the UFC Bantamweight title. No denying he deserves to be there. He's got the requisite win streak. He's got the finishes. He's got the popularity, the fan support. Now he needs the championship performance. We'll see if he has what it takes to unseat the incumbent. So here he is, the consensus number one Bantamweight in the world, the UFC's reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion, and he's looking to make the walk out of the octagon with all of those same titles. He wants to be mentioned with some of this division's greats, all-time types. Gotta win this fight tonight, make good on another title defense, and then his name creeps into that conversation. Tail of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. Aldo is two years his senior. The rest of the numbers are close. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Jose Aldo Now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Uniondale, New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Master Sterling! UFC belt online. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Start checking some of these. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. The distance cash chips. 
Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and a nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. So just one of 20 total strikes have landed for Jose Alba. Oh, look at this, jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and combinations. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. of this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, the UFC Bantamweight champion, closing the show tonight with a spectacular submission. It is gonna take a special performance to dethrone this man at 135 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 51 seconds of the very first round, Declaring the winner by tap out. And still the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion of the world, Aljamain Pumpmaster Sterling. So there he is, all smiles, the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion of the world. That is the way he came in. That is the way he goes out after turning in a huge submission win here tonight. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate the effort. You see him with his corner and his coaches there. What a